Hi all, welcome to Balkan Shipyards, in the sail loft, on the scaffolding. So, this is how, this is how I make uh, my cambered panels. I like the scaffolding business. I like lifting the sail off the ground, so I can look at camber. I can look at creases. And I can eliminate creases and I can pull the fabric this way, that way. I can push the battens this way, that way. I can clamp. I've got a stapler over there. I can fix things in place with a few staples. So he has a staple stretching it out this way. Um, this is a brand new cell that I just made. This is a. Uh, uh, 160 grams polyester material made for tents. They use this for uh, building, making tents. So he has a, a panel that I took out on my junk cell. That's my old junk underneath polytop. He has a panel I put on. I went sailing a few times with it. It's very strong. It's the same material. I fixed this one because the top panel got ripped. I went out sailing a few times and the whole luff started ripping. Uh, so polytop. Polytop's good for a short while. You can't go far with it. That's what I thought I could do. Obviously I was wrong. My polytop sale lasted all summer last year was in the sun all summer and we sold a lot. We sold every day almost. We did uh, I don't know, probably about a good four or five hundred miles. Four or five hundred, yeah. And this year it started ripping. I fixed it and then it just kept ripping and here's my new sale. So um, th this is what I'm talking about. This helps me do stuff. I had the leech over here on these two panels was just cupping so ugly that I saw once I, 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 I put the sail on this thing. I saw that the leech was long because there's too much roach over here and the leech just, it, the belt was tight but the, the fabric was loose and I had this. So I went crab claw over here and I hollowed the leech. This is how the Polynesians prevented the leech from cupping. They would hollow and they would sometimes they would hollow super huge. So I went to the minimum. What I did was I used needles and I was I was bunching it up, bunching it up, bunching it up, and putting in needles, and I found that when I came to here. It all stretched out and came out nice. I went back to my friend. She, we cut it and she sewed the belt back on. I reduced camber over here to, from 10% to 8 The stretchy material was giving me about the same. I was depressed and horrified. And then I understood that if I just stretch it out, then I come back to nice camber of a, again about 9, 10. The stretchiness of this material, even though I reduced the, the camber, brought me back. But, I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'm really, really happy. I just changed this bottom baton. I'm going to put a, going to screw the new baton on top. I've changed, uh, I reduced the thickness of my battens. Before spring, I went sailing with thin battens and I had a lot of trouble. So now, so now I'm putting back thicker battens. It's all trial and error, I guess. He has my, he has all my templates for the barrel, the barrel panels. Over here, I reduced the camber. The stretchy material gave me more than I wanted, but this frame business helps me sort out stuff. And I'm I'm pleased. I'm very, very pleased. And I decided a few more creases is better than deep camber. So I stretched out the material a little bit. And I got 
I got a few cleases, but but the way I understood it, it's impossible to not have creases on this type of uh, cell uh, making or whatever the word would be. So, got to cut away this, cut away that, all the extra. Got to put in, uh, there's still a lot to do on the cell today. I hope I'll finish it. And, uh, yeah, go out sailing uh, this week. Test it. And if the force is strong and the force is finally with me, yes. Then uh, we're heading down to the med and we're turning right and going west. So, yeah, it's been a long road of trial and error, but I don't know. I think, uh, I think uh, that, that's, that's what we came here for, you know. Uh, we came here to learn and to teach and to make mistakes and to just keep going and never stop because there is a saying that you've never failed till you quit so failure is good for you keep going guys keep shunting keep junking and uh, crab clawing balkan shipyard may the force be with you heading out